What? What is this, a stream? I thought you were dead, Brynjolf. It is a stream. It's a bit of a late stream at that. Um... So, I'm here. Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm here. And, uh, yeah, I had a very long day today. Practice, like, four other things. And then a food coma. We went to a really good Chinese food place after the studio, and you know what happens after Chinese food. You you die. You just straight up die. So we're gonna do some dusk. Um, I'm gonna give away some keys too. I was kind. Uh, the developer was kind enough to give me some keys for the game, um, and I had played the multiplayer component to this, and it didn't go so great. Um, but I really want to do the single player component. This is a beta, episodes one and two. Um, I'm just gonna do maybe one. Let's see, first playthrough. Yeah. Someone in chat just asked if this game is graphically intensive. Well, you'll see Kill in just a second. The, the answer is very much no. Let me make it a little louder. Yep. This is what kind of game this is. I actually have the graphics up a little bit, too. Like... Here, let me show you. There's a couple of options. There's pixelization. Which... God. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I already found a secret. Um... Classic Quake, Doom kind of shit. Secrets, you know, pixels. Uh, light Bloom, off. So this is what it's supposed to look like. With all the options for a little bit of, um, bells and whistles. That's, that's all, that's all off at the moment. Would you guys prefer I play it like this? Like no bloom or anything like that? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Colors? Hang on a minute. There's an option for colors. Let's see. Oh, okay. You can just change everything. Okay. Um, I do want to decrease the sensitivity of the mouse a little bit. Okay. Lift phone. Shoot box. Eat pant. There's no real reason for me to do that. Here anyway, I would like to... Once again, welcome anyone to the stream. I'm killing cultists at the moment, as you can clearly see. Um, the LLL. Just gonna, gonna kill a couple of cultists down. Vinny, what's the plot of this game? <laughs> I don't fucking know! <laughs> uh, that's a good question, though. I, I would, I would like to know. You know what? Nah, I don't wanna know. This is good enough. Whatever this is, this is fine. What is that? Gems. Plus 10 to morale. I don't know what this morale system is. This crusty morale system. Plus 25 morale. Interesting. I could just keep going to bed. Oh, each bed has one sleep. Could you imagine if that was life? 
And you just had to go around and... You just had to go around and find new beds every night because you wouldn't be able to sleep. Every bed is good for only one sleep. Vinny, roll a d20. Don't even get me started on dice after yesterday's stream. Already this is a better campaign than Call of Duty World War II. And I'm speaking from experience. No, I like it. It's your typical over-the-top insanity with some glitches. And I, I actually, um... I have to say, I, I, I think the World War II setting... It feels like home for that franchise, you know? And it feels like, um... Fast fire totem. It feels like, um... For a game that... Whoa. For a game that kind of ruined single-player first-person shooter campaigns a little bit... I don't mind the World War II campaign so much. Because it, it kind of makes sense. It, it works for me. What I mean by that is, uh, everything that Doom killed last year. Which is to say, you know, you don't have to, like, wait behind cover for your allies to move up, and then you kill every last enemy before you can move, and it's just you behind a, you know, behind a box for a while. That's kind of the difference between the old-school first-person shooter campaigns, like this one, which is, you know, this is a facsimile of the old-school. I love it, though. Look how cool this is. It's like a mix of Quake and Hexen. Doom. Things going through trees. But yeah, I mean, it's it's just one of those things where whatever your style of campaign is for a single-player game, I think, um... Battlefield 1 did the whole thing really nicely. I streamed that, I enjoyed it. I'm really happy I didn't stream Call of Duty World War II single-player. Because... people would be making fun of it relentlessly. Um... I would not be having a whole lot of fun with it. But on my own... On my own, it's- it's alright. My expectations were low. And, um... I can't wash the dishes. Come on. Can I wash the skull? I much prefer what Doom... I much prefer what Doom does for a single-player campaign. Um, but I don't hate cover-based shooters. I actually, you know, I thought Gears of War was great. I enjoyed Gears of War for a little while there. And, um... You know, it... Cover-based shooters are fine. It's just that became the only thing we got for a while. missed some secrets. Like, when the cover-based shooter was the hugest thing in the world, it was just like, and it's still, we're still there, kind of. Um, yeah, this does kind of remind me of Blood, actually, GPM, I agree. Blood was a cool game, Blood 2 in particular. Um, Vinny, did you see Darkest Dungeon is coming to the Switch? I did. I think I need a recharge on that game for a while. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh yeah! Oh, that's a, that's a scarecrow. I 
love the formula of this game. The atmosphere is great. Just cultists and weird fucking, like, satanic things. I love things with Satan on them, like horses, blankets, seashells. The true test of a game is whether or not you can do this. So, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I uh, I prefer campaigns like this, level-based, with secrets and, like, uh, you know, a lot of in-your-face action, and uh, a weapon progression system where you don't only have two weapons at a time. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Call of Duty World War II works for me because of the, you know, idea like you're a soldier, okay? You can only carry a couple weapons. Eh, fine! I get it, it's World War II, but like the super soldier jetpack thing from the later entries in the series just did nothing for me and I did not play them beyond making fun of them as V-Dub. Um, and I just got sick of, of only being able to car like carry two weapons at a time, really. I like the progression of like a Turok or a Doom. Or even a Duke Nukem. <laughs> Flying cultists. Vinny, your V dub? No, 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 no. I, I, I roleplay as him sometimes on my own, for my own amusement. So, you know, I play the game, but I put on some sunglasses. It's just a cosplay thing. Lift TP. <laughs> Did I just flush that whole roll of TP? Lift soap. Eat soap. Okay. Mm. Eat gun. This is, um, right up my alley. What the? You might get a full stream out of this, lads. I don't know how long the game is, but... I'm enjoying it so far. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because, like I said, I didn't want to start any, like, huge games until I was finished with Hand of Fate 2. And I'm, like, really close to being finished with that game. For the record, even though that game has frustrated me, I still love playing it. Genuinely. I had a lot of fun with it last night, you know, because... The dev ha helped me out and so did the chat. You guys saved the run. Thus saving yourselves. Oh, carrots. Roof carrot. Yeah. Oh, that's a rivet. Oh, okay. I thought that was food. Um... What other things are you gonna say? My, I think my favorite single-player first-person shooter campaigns of all time... It's gotta be... Maybe Turok 1 is, is up there. Um, the original Quake is up there. Doom, I played in chunks. And there's a lot of campaigns for Doom. But it's, it's definitely great. 
Um, Doom 64, I streamed. I love that game, but it's got some problems. Um, if I had to choose... If I had to choose one, though, and, like, you put, like, a, let's say, two pistols to my head, I would go with the original Half-Life. Half-Life 2 followed pretty close behind that, but I would, I would go for Half-Life 1 as my favorite first-person shooter campaign of all time. I like Duke Nukem too. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I, this is a this is a tough choice. I'm not good at making like top ten lists. Also, motherfucker, you're not supposed to be alive. And your red key. She was supposed to be in the office a half an hour ago. Hey, how about that beer? Barnyard has never, to this day, bought me a beer. As promised. Um, yeah, Goldeneye is up there too, obviously. I mean, I, I would even put the new Doom in the running of one of my favorite first-person shooter campaigns. Just because... I could, like, when I started playing the Switch version, just to see what it was like, I couldn't stop playing it. I didn't want to stop playing it. And I did because, I don't know, I had other shit that I wanted to play. Like Skyrim, apparently. God help me. Um, but yeah, Perfect Dark, Goldeneye, I mean, I'm listing the classics of all time. But I think some of the underrated um, first-person shooter campaigns I played, like Blood 2, I mentioned earlier. I played a little- I didn't play the whole thing, but from what I did play... That was the good shit. How do I do this? See, like a... Is that an underground passage there? Um, when I say Halo was never my thing, well, I didn't have an Xbox in the early days, but I'll tell you what. Halo 3 was my thing. I really enjoyed Halo 3, and I played through Halo Reach and Halo ODST, and I enjoyed those games. Alright, I'm gonna come back to that, maybe. I wouldn't put them amongst my favorites, but Halo, Halo 3 was pretty badass co-op. I'd say the co-op campaigns of those games are why I like them so much. You, you really... You really, really don't get too much better than playing a really fucking long, good first-person shooter with, with a friend. Up until 2017, I would have put Turok 2 in my list of favorite first-person shooter campaigns. And then I played the remake. Ugh. Well, remake is in remaster for Steam. Don't get me wrong. Game had cool weapons. It still was fun to shoot things. I love the animations. Um, some of the music was great. Some of the like uh, the levels had some cool moments. But the level design in that game makes me want to put on a fucking sack and run around with a chainsaw while I wear my best red flannel. Secret door, you say? And a red key. Gotcha, motherfucker. Anthony Fantano flannel. Anthony Flantano. 
I wonder what he would think of my album, considering he's a Radiohead fan. I wonder. I give it a light two. Light two to a strong two and a half. Oh, that's the exit. Vinthony Saustano here. I want to rate Dusk for you so far. I'd give it a strong eight at the moment because it hasn't done anything to piss me off yet. I like the video of um, Babish, Sean Evans, and Fantano eating melons just because they're bald. And they reviewed melons and they gave the watermelon the highest score. I agree. I'm not a cantaloupe guy myself. I like watermelon, though. Watermelon, good choice. Good melon. Gonzalo, you have to leave. Oh, I can't... I can't figure out how to get through some of these secrets. There's... there's, um... There's a whole lot of stuff that I'm not doing. I think. You see that? There's something up there. There's, um, the other spot. I mean, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. But it's always nice to get a weapon early. You know? If that's what was happening here. I, I hear a couple, uh, crackles. That could just be the rain. Um, what else? Oh, Red Letter Media did their part two of their movie review, of, of the movies that no one saw. And I kind of want to watch that pretentious, uh, <laughs> ghost story movie now. We've been getting a lot of time with our internet friends, haven't we? With our virtual friends. We had the Star Trek video, which was cool. We got... part one and two of their movie pickup. I always enjoy... I, I like how Mike just read reviews for the past... the last, like, four minutes of the fucking video. Let's try jumping. That's a neat trick. That'll work, eventually. I think I know how to do that now, by the way. I'm gonna do something. You have to... I have to get to the top of the hedge maze. I'm gonna do this... I got this. Alright, so... Shit, that's not how you got this. Uh, hang on. Vinny, do you count as an internet friend? Uh, I, I hope- I hope it's a healthy relationship. In the sense that, um... It's not like that one stalker movie with Aubrey Plaza that they reviewed. As long as you understand, I don't really know anything about you. Then yeah, we cool. We cool. <laughs> I, I do count, I, th I suppose. Or so I've been told. Is there like a wall jump or something? Shoot the ground and jump. Oh, yeah, look at that. Crouch jumping. Um, I have an issue with the crouching. No wonder I wasn't able to do that. I was having some crouch jumping issues. It's, um... Hang on. It is because... Crouch is toggle. I don't usually toggle in my first-person shooters with crouch. I usually hold. See, now this is a double secret. This just looked too good to be true, and there's plenty of carrots here, so... Yeah, motherfucker. Now this is a quake-looking weapon. Just so many... See, oh, multiple exits in this game. Magic potion. This is what this thing does. 
cool. I like the uh, the ambience of the music too. Come on, get up there. Okay, crouch jumping is finicky. Did you see that? What the fuck was that? Did I just do a flip? Vinny, if you put the mouse down all the way while jumping, you do a flip. Huh. I guess I can't get back up there. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna get disorienting anytime soon. I'm- I'm sorry, I'm really, really just trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. Um, flip is R. Flip is R. But wait, wait a minute. How does that help me? Doesn't matter, I guess. I wonder if that secret exit was a whole different thing. Like, alright, does anyone know if that secret exit took- takes me to a different level? <laughs> then you can be John Wick. No space. Then you actually go to a different level if you go to the other exit. It's a secret level. Well, we'll go back to it. I- you know what? I felt like that was gonna be the case. John Wick. Rivet gun, broken. there would be some kind of, like, secret tunnel in the church. How many churches have secret tunnels? All of them. They're escape hatches. time religion, huh? It's a- don't worry, it's a nondescript, uh, religion. So, you know, you definitely don't have to take this personal. If you are, in fact, of the religious variety. The amount of blasphemy I commit on a daily basis, you would imagine. How could anyone religious be here, here at this stream? Here at this here stream? The answer is, yes. Heretic. Even though it was not a yes or no question. But the answer is yes, I've gotten... You're a dick? I've gotten a couple emails from people saying they were um, very religious and they wanted me to um, be a little bit less... One thing or another. And I respect that to some extent. 
but I'm, I'm not going to stop saying uh, certain things. I, I do take the name of the Lord Christ in vain plenty on this here stream. Uh, but yeah, that's that's just... But that's okay, I'm, I'm Catholic, I can do that. Or I was, you know, born Catholic. Raised Catholic. Someone said it isn't hard to respect other people's religions. Uh, to some extent it can be, depending on what they ask you to do. For respect. If I was told to stop saying fuck on Sundays... ...because it, it violated someone's religious code... ...I'd be out of a job. But luckily, this religion, um, in this game, is all kinds of bullshit, so we have to destroy them. I don't know for sure why it's bullshit, but you know, something tells me a bunch of dudes in white hoods running around with shotguns and fucking sickles. There needs to be some kind of... There needs to be some kind of vindication here. Sorry, I'm just being thorough being Henry David Thoreau. It's on the jukebox music. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Singing is expressly prohibited. On the uh, Sabbath of Wednesday, my dudes. Is that a frog in the It Is Wednesday, my dudes? What is that? What, what is that in the meme? Thursday, yeah, it's no longer my- Oh my god! So far, I like... I like the weapons. They may not look... very detailed by any stretch of the imagination, but they sound good. They make fuck. Vinny, is it true that what Mike said is that the Orville blatantly recycles ideas? Yes. Um, I would say, though, if you watch enough Star Trek, you see that... Star Trek recycles its own ideas.
frequently. By the time you get to like Enterprise, it's just they're just doing the same episodes. Even Discovery recycles ideas. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I would like to see the Orville do some more original concepts. I think in this this first season they had a couple of original ideas, a, a couple. Maybe as time goes on, there will be more original ideas. Um, but yeah, I mean, almost everything has had some kind of... Almost all sci-fi has been done in some form or another. It's just a matter of how well you can rearrange the ideas, I feel. And then if you're lucky enough to come up with a nugget of something unique and original, um, presenting it in a way that is interesting you know and then there's like you know how many movies have done star wars the hero's journey where they start off you know without really any powers or any kind of you know they don't know their place in the world and then they get swept up on an adventure there's the you know call to adventure i mean this was the shit that happened in the old testament of the bible too speaking of religion um, and then, of course, there's a... We traded God for demons. The scourges of olden times. Well, I think we know why this religion is bad. Okay. Bad. Okay. Bad. Bad. Okay. So we need to, we need to destroy them because they traded God for demons. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I think the the hero's journey has been done. Marvel does it. Star Wars did it like five thousand times. Uh, Star Trek has done the hero's journey, and they're trying to do one now with Discovery, and it's kind of making me nauseous a little bit. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill. Intoxicator. <laughs> Almost as good as Investigator. Real shitty time to run out of, um... Out of carrots, huh? <laughs> Vinny, that formula classification seems kind of vague. It's vague enough that you can do a lot within it. But the general outline is, is always there. Sorry, I killed your pet alligator. Um, I think it's called Kur Kurosawa's Journey. What's what's the name of the um? There's an outline that details the the hero's journey. What, the hero's journey is what the fuck is it? Was it Kurosawa that made the um the chart? Joseph Campbell. Hero with a thousand faces. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that's not necessarily a bad thing by any means. I think you can do a really good job within, um, you know, that concept. So when, when the Orville kind of, like, borrows ideas from Star Trek... Well, I mean, yeah, it's a fan, you know, making a fan film in his own way. And, uh, it does what it does fairly well, and I, I think Mike should just continue to watch the show and not, and not let that discourage him. I think he should just give it a couple more episodes and try to enjoy it for what it is. That's why, if you're gonna watch, like, truly unique movies, you need to see things like, I spit on your grave. You know. The room. Very non-traditional hero journeys. One of five secrets. And I'm not good at finding secrets in this game.
this game is a hero's journey. You start off as shoot man person. And then you learn that you have the power to pull the trigger of various guns. Right? You go on an adventure, which is to kill evil cultists. Um, you get- you take damage, so that's the low point. And then, you find the soap. You lift it. And then you fight an alligator. And then the old world becomes the new world, and then the new world becomes the old world eventually. And stuff. Oh wait, I said that backwards. Doesn't matter, who cares? It's fine. Every game needs a good double shotgun. I still say Doom has the best shotguns. I still don't feel any any game. Maybe Quake. Quake did good shotguns. But uh, I think Doom had great shotguns because they had range. They weren't just like... Like melee, like glorified melee weapons. Um, even 2016 Doom, for all it did right, I still like the older shotguns better. Explode into Gibbs. Oh, man. Sex cult is what politicians do, right? Yeah. No, 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 just the leaders in general. Rich people, leaders. According to Eyes Wide Shut, uh, you wouldn't be able to sleep at night if you knew who, who was at that cult. What is the password? Fidelio. Very good. But what is the door password? like just two notes and then every now and then you get a G it's so good we determined it's F F sharp every now and then you get a G 
portals work, he is pleased. That's the story. Just some in insane scribblings on a wall every now and then. Fucking music. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but Georgie Leggetti. It's um, a 1950 song. Great Hungarian composer. This doesn't stop for a while. There we go. Oh, there it is. Nightmares. Oh, okay, we've I've had enough. Yeah, as a kid, that was a, a fun song to think about after seeing the movie Eyes Wide Shut. With its creepy, weird sex cult thing. I feel like that movie could have gone further. I feel like that movie could have been better. Which is a shame because it's it's almost Well I can't even really say that. For Kubrick it was perfect. But for a lot of people it was uh not so great. I was fifteen when I first saw that movie. Kubrick died six days after he finished editing one cut of the film. Correct. Yeah, he died. I, I think he died two weeks before the release of the movie. Vinny, what do you think of the campaign in this game so far? Uh, I really liked it. So far. I'm upset I missed a secret level. Skybox. <laughs> it's just red and black. Fine. Good enough. Well, the portal works. Blood moon is rising. Yeah, I guess so.
Are those supposed to be leaves scraping on the ground? Or some kind of like weird bug? It's very uncomfortable. Get some scarecrossy in there. Yeah. You can do a lot with patience and pistols. I enjoy games where pistols aren't made irrele irrelevant by other weapons. I think that's one of the reasons I like Goldeneye. The PP7 always seemed to have some kind of purpose. You, you, you know, you would run out of ammo for other stuff and there it is. The good old, good old Spider-Man. Good old PP7. What other games had good pistols that were not made irrelevant by other, more powerful weapons? I guess Devil May Cry. You could always go back to the pistols, right? Bayonetta. Well... Yeah. Yeah, Bayonetta. Halo. Yep. Halo. The fucking pistol was the best weapon in Halo, for fuck's sake. Halo 1 specifically. God, that weapon was so broken. Resident Evil 4. Oh man, Resident Evil 4 had some of my favorite pistols. I love the Red 9, um, which is a bit of a Star Wars reference. But, yeah, Resident Evil 4 had great fucking pistols. Handguns. Fuck. Human Revolution had good ones too. I've never played Fear. I mean, Metal Gear Solid, you're always using the SOCOM. Uh, Phantom Pain, you could use pistols a lot, silenced ones. Oh, nice. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to a fear stream in the future. That doesn't mean, yes, I'm going to stream fear tomorrow by any means, but... <laughs> yep, fear stream confirmed for tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can just do this. For some reason. I should probably turn that off. If I'm doing platforming around here.
Yes! New favorite weapon. Bolt action. So what does morale do in this game? Oh, there was a ladder. Of course, I had to go and do that the hard way. Long pistol, <laughs> yeah. It's just, oh, it's armor. Oh, oh, well that, okay. I thought Perfect Dark had a cool pistol, the Falcon too, but it, it looked a little, it was a little too shiny for me. Now, now I'm just nitpicking. I'm trying to figure out other games that had really, really great pistols. Turok 2 had a cool one, it sounded cool. Half-Life 1. Maybe if you change the sound effect and the, the way it looks. Opposing Force? Oh yeah, Opposing Force. I forgot about that. The Desert Eagle in Opposing Force is fucking great. And this isn't just about like how powerful the thing is. It's also about how it sounds, how it looks, Feels, man. So yeah, I would uh, I would say yeah, definitely opposing force, Desert Eagle, um, Dead Space one and two had good pistols. I have not played Dead Space because I don't know. That's never off the menu, you know. That could happen for a Halloween stream one year. Titanfall. Oh yeah, Titanfall had good. Well, Titanfall had good weapons in general. This is like the cave from fucking Hand of Fate 2, when you go west, and then east, then south, you have to get the treasure chest, and then you have to fucking purify the, the Kako demon or whatever. Oh, well I got a key here. I should be paying more attention to the keys that I get. That's why I run around in circles. Yes, go. Well, I was always a big fan of the original Deagle in Counter Strike, and then later on, it got less good. I feel. I mean, it, maybe, maybe it's just that it's a, a, a different game. Never liked the Glock. I've talked about that on stream plenty of times. I think the Glock is just a ugly weapon. Sorry, Glock fans. Um. I also, I do like the USP, the starting weapon for the CT. Oh, motherfucker, what is this? Cowboys? Let me get a good look at you. You're not scary, what are you? More scarecrows. Colts, 1911, yeah. It's a classic. Those were the ladies? Did I, I... Oh, no. Scarecrow wives.
I'll do one more level before I uh, take a quick break. I know this is like a shorter stream tonight because I started so late, which is my fault, but also the fault of Chinese food. And we were at the studio pretty late tonight. That bonus song is sounding really good. Very excited. Very excited. To uh, eventually record that thing. We're getting there. Close enough. All nine minutes of it. Vinny, is vinegar a type of clown juice? That- no, 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 that's what a clown's foot smells like. After a particularly exhausting day of clowning, I think. Anytime I have to cook with vinegar for a recipe, uh, it's never an appetizing smell. It's always like... Uh, but then, the results are amazing. cook with vinegar outside of salad dressings. Well, in the the apron recipes that I've had, usually it's made for like uh, veggies, like kale, with some garlic, some vinegar. Um, I use vinegar for green beans. Like right at the end, the last like minute of cooking, two minutes maybe. Um, like pan sauce, certain pan sauces use vinegar. Um... What else? Grilled fish? I don't really cook fish, yeah, but... Um... Plenty of stuff. You bake with it. You know, barbecue. I mean, you use it for sauces. You combine it with different things to, to create, like, a, a sauce. Do you bake green beans? Uh, I like them on the stove. With salt, pepper, garlic. Finely chopped. Nice japes. And then you cook it for a little bit. And then, uh, then you add some vinegar for the last two minutes of cooking it. Vinny talk about the Nintendo Direct trolling yet? Yeah, no. Um, didn't, like, Nintendo of Russia make a tweet about the Direct starting soon?
GameStop did. Oh wow, flipping a gun actually has, like, physics in-game. Nintendo of America posted a picture of Chibi Robo on fire and people have been burning amiibos as effigies. Oh, alright, okay, well that'll get the Nintendo Direct here faster. Burn your amiibos so that you'll have to buy more when they implement further functionality in future games. That's exactly what Nintendo wants. Burn your bras while you're at it, too. Because I, I guess Reggie wants that. Uh, he told me. Vinny, do you know the way? No. I actually really don't. Do you know there's a whole Reggie playlist on Nintendo's YouTube? Oh, there it is. It's just a playlist of Reggie videos. It's a shame that I can't even say I don't know the way without people exploding. It was a legit question. And I had a legit answer. I was lost. I didn't know the way. Rip that sentence. Rip the name Ernest. Well, I've been playing about an hour now, obviously, as you can see right there. And I think this game is fantastic. I, I really like it. Just doing a thing here. Okay, I see how this works. Oh, look, you even get a map. There's the farm. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of Gang Beasts. There's been an update to Gang Beasts. Last time I streamed that game was, was years ago. I don't have any weapons. Anyway, I'm going to very quickly... Ah, disorienting. Thanks. Dude boosted me. Very quickly gonna see what's up with this secret level. A little bit of an overkill for those little bugs. Oh man. That wasn't the right way. There was the switch on the wall, yeah. It's, oh my god, really? Okay, this is a weird crouch jump. You have to like... You have to jump, and then at the very... At the very height of your jump, you have to jump again. And then crouch. It's kind of not at all like Half-Life. You actually lose jump height. 
from crouch jumping. You could use a barrel. What, like bring a barrel over? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're right. I forgot about that. There's physics in this game. Well, not really physics, but... I just managed to do it before, so I assumed it was easily possible. Okay, where's that switch? Which is at the end of the gauntlet on the other side of the field. Oh man, they really... They really hit this one good. Okay. Heretic. Let's see here, nothing to worry about. Everything's good. There's a fucking switch in there. It is. Oh, I see. I had to use that, yeah. I didn't make the connection that that's what that opened. worth it. Meaning I hope I can do the secret level another time and not tonight. After I unlock it. Here we go. The dim slough. Okay. Yep, it's an entirely different level. I cannot deny that. problem here. It's that I didn't save. Yeah. I didn't save earlier. I guess you just kind of expect games to save your place. 
Didn't I do the mine? Why am I back at the mine and not with my weapons? Weird. I can't go to the level I was just at. Really? So it says I completed this level, but I can't go to the next level. All right, well, that's that sucks. I know, I never saved. I guess I just assumed that the progress would be just saved. <laughs> oh well, I hacked up a little bit, I did. But it's not too hard to get back to where I once belonged. I think it wouldn't be too difficult to go through that and just load out bottom right on the level select. Alright, well we'll figure it out next time. It's a cool game, I might continue playing it. Um, I might... I might play more of it on stream, I might not, but I enjoyed it. 